Welcome back guys to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. Um, welcome back to watching me try to get to the Smelter Demon. I'm not sure if this is like a lot more difficult than I remember or if I'm just like doing if I'm not leveled up. So there's a griffin here. Not sure why. Stairs of my friend here. Well, that was kind of weird. But yeah, it seems to me like the thing that's prevalent about this area that wasn't prevalent about it before was that there's a lot more guys and they can see you from far away. Continue to get this guy. Oh, now this guy's coming, right? Okay, at least we can isolate this guy. the two guys I don't really know how to deal with very well. Hmm. We're not getting any of the... I want their, um... want their katana. Alright. <laughs> Continue to take these guys out one at a time. As they rush at us. Alright. So yeah, there's another guy here. Is there any way that you 
don't have to pull those two guys. I only have 13 life gems. <sighs> this is just ridiculous. Okay, you can stagger them. But it's not super viable. Oh. <laughs> Always with that one. <sighs> yeah. Well, I got their whole set. Is this just meant to like drain you down so that you don't have anything to heal with once you get to the uh Smelter Demon. And once we get to the Smelter Demon, it should be a little bit better. But I don't know how many more people are coming. One more. Okay, so now he just sits and shoots from afar. Ugh. So... Why am I not switching to this? Okay, this is great. <laughs> Dagger. Ugh. Okay. I got it. Oh, jeez, this is so brutal. I mean, it's probably that I'm not like wearing the the right armor here. medicine but again it's not like oh and I don't need to I mean not that I think it terribly matters but I could yeah I'm wearing a lot of the best okay I can do Pate's armor but that's not good against anything else Uh, Pates is decent against. Wow, seventy four. I could just go straight up to this and not really block. That still doesn't do any better. Does this weigh anything? It does. Okay, well. It used to kick me out of the game every time it lost connection on the game server. Oh, weird. Alright. Alright, let's try this again. By the way, this item, although I don't think it's special or anything, uh, you can only get it by uh, 
with this raised up and rolling down onto it, but I don't really ever get it. Don't fall off, Luca. All right, let's uh, let's try this again. So we're just trying to get Lugatil to survive this fight. Oops, that was not good. That was even worse. my uh what I would summon as so that I would get a lot of but I've lost a lot of the timings especially since you know fighting the blue one. Thanks, Luca Teal. So this could just be representing kind of what happened to this area, or just in general what this area is about. I mean, there's like a pot of maybe iron up there, and then there's people kind of holding it up, but they look like 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 sorcerers and there's like a sea down here and it sinks maybe into the ground because it's really heavy I don't know I don't know if that's meant to be anything specific so we get the porcine shield looks like a pig. The pig head looks eerily authentic, but isn't an imitation. Though the shield's defensive capacity is ordinary, it may spook an unsuspecting foe. They had like a, a contest for shields in this game, so you could like make your own shields and they would put them in the game. And there's a few winners in there. I think that's one of them. Um, all right, so I'm going to uh, at least try to level up here and get some more. Less business. I, uh, and of course, I think in a, in a past one, I was referring to endurance as being equip load. And I do know that it is different, but I just, you know, <laughs> I uh, wasn't thinking. So I, I'm going to pump that up a little bit so that I can uh, start wearing some better stuff. Thank you.
before we go on, I'm going to uh, get my item box all sorted out. I didn't actually want to do that, just in case. I'll keep that. Um, yeah, so I will, I'll go through my stuff later and, uh, you know, kind of get better equipment to wear. Um, but for now I'm just going to throw this here so that we can easily, um, read stuff. Um, okay. I look quite strange. Oh, quick. So I think the buckler has like the best frames for uh, pairing, but it looks like it's really slow. Um, is there anything down here? get shot at. Oh, I did forget. Did, oh, did I die there? As far as I'm aware, none of these are uh, real good items. Like, they're not items with lore, but, you know. What do I know? Uh, you can set these things on fire. They explode and then become fire pillars. Um... Alright, well, I'm going. Yeah, I guess what I'll do here is I will uh, try to get these items and then I'll homeward bone back so that I can. So that I can just uh, get these but not, you know, actually have to fight all these people. Okay, it's good items, not any new lore. Yeah, so this guy's going to come chasing me if I go this way. Okay, just stuff. Oh, no, it's the one above. Okay, good. All right. All right. Good to get that all out of the way. Let's do this again. <sighs> oh, they have these guys now. close. <laughs> Alright, so, and does this guy, oh, so he does hit, there's a panel that he hits, but I guess he runs behind there to hide. I do think it's kind of cool that they bothered to do all this stuff. Um, I don't know how, like, intentional it is or whatever, but I mean, this would have been walked around down there, um, but it sank, and so they had to, like, put new platforms into here. Yeah, how are we going to do this? Get enough stamina to take him down. Oh, there we go. Come back. Okay. I think we can uh, hold our uh, binoculars and still. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of. Uh... 
In fact, we can go back to. Oh, I put it away. <laughs> and we put all the things away. All right, yeah. I will. Uh, I will just try to do a inventory. Oh, great. So now that only kills one guy. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm obviously going to do this area first. This will probably be three videos. Thunder Quartz. Do we get a Thunder Quartz? A ring bestowed upon students of a certain standard at the Melfian Magic Academy. Its lightning quartz increases lightning defense. Pyromancer Glocken crafted so many of these replicas that they became widespread, such that his fellow magicians harshly scolded him for undermining lessons gained from harsh training. Yeah, we've heard about Glocken before. It might have been through that. Oh, this is interesting. Now they, like, completely cut it off from... Oh, but you... Okay, you can get down there. Huh. Alright, so now we are in the Belfry Soul approach. And we previously saw Belfry Luna at, um, at the, um, in Fen or in, uh, the Lost Bastille. So now we get to find the other tower, the one that we heard about. You want to guard the bell, do you? For the princess and prince forever for true. Sure. Yeah, so um, again, the this is Belfry Soul, there was Belfry Luna in the first game, and just in general, Miyazaki's talked about, you know, the uh, moon representing um, women, femininity, sun representing masculinity. So this would be the location of the prince, but where the bell from the princess resides. They like exchanged bells. So, I don't think you can backstab these guys. Wonder if they've thinned this area out at all or if they've increased it. Drifter Swordsman Adel, okay. So, yeah, this is just another. Okay. It looks like there's quite a bit of people here. Oh, that guy drops. Yeah, what does he drop? Humanity? Rusted coins. Yeah, if you need those, you can 
Nice. Okay. Let's see. This guy. Baggy. Cool. Getting some good drops. I don't remember them dropping this consistently. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm technically offline now, so... This is the, they try to make it so that you can, uh, I suppose I should heal. <laughs> they try to make it so you understand that you're getting invaded. I don't know. It's an alright area. It's kind of fun to defend it, really. Okay, let's ring the bell. Go. Okay, come on in. Because there's a boss in the other one, and this one they just. After you ring the bell, there's some more. Thanks for your help, Drifter Swordsman Adel. This guy can... Oh, alright. Don't... Oh, nice. That was weird. Okay. Oh, cool. The bug. Uh, I think we might have gotten that actually. These bells symbolize forbidden love, the bell keepers. They're faithful guardians ever ready to annihilate trespassers. Yeah, we read that. Simpleton Spice. Just, uh, does he just go away here, or what are we doing? There yeah. Huh. So this, in the original game, was the only place where there was a mimic, a, heart, a mimic full of the metal chest. I mean, not, not this exact chest, but in the Iron Keep. So now I'm just checking, just to make sure. A pyromancy that creates a coating of flame, allowing the caster to incinerate nearby foes. Needless to say, this is a perilous spell that burns the caster while active. If a person is truly desirous of something, perhaps set, being set on fire does not seem so bad. Again, that's a theme of this game, and I think maybe all of the Dark Souls games, but it certainly applies, I think, to the... Uh, um, to the... Uh, Smelter Demon. He is called a demon, interestingly enough. Black Knight Great Sword, for some reason, is here. Protective Chime and the Grand Spirit Tree Shield. Alright. Great sword wielded by knights who served a Lord of Light in a long forgotten age. Even after their flesh was charged by the flame, they remained as strong as ever and stood watch, challenging visitors to their land. I mean, okay, as I say, I think I, I've, I've been arguing with a few people about this, but I was saying that 
it, it was not the chaos demons that they fought that um, charred them. It was the b blinking of the flame, and it says that they they burned to ash because of the flame. And then this, it would seem that it would support what I was saying. Even after their flesh was charred by flame, they remained as strong as ever. But yeah, maybe it's just talking about. I'm not going to win that battle, I don't think. It's probably the Chaos Demons. Alright. Sacred Chime, commonly used by clerics in Lindelt. We know about Lindelt. It's the cleric capital. Um, a Catalyst of Miracles and Hexes. A Sacred Chime serves to conduct the power of miracles, but in the past, something entirely different served the same purpose. Yeah, we have Chimes in this game. In the original game, they were Talismans. Uh, Grand Spirit Tree Shield. Shield of the blue spirit tree that is said to possess divine powers. Appears in the allegory of Quella, god of dream, and can deflect spells by parrying. Once there was a boy who was easily frightened until the talking tree of dream world transformed itself into a shield to protect him. I think that's only... Oops, don't want to fall down there. Uh, I don't want to go there either. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I don't think that has a lot of lore implications. It's just that it's a story. Um, and as I say, that's this game is all about that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Might as well just start to heal. Okay. That is interesting. trying to achieve is getting to the bonfire and then we can just take care of the next that guy will hopefully die okay let's see here so yeah we had the old ironclad in uh, um, the forest of fallen giants, and these are the ironclads. What does this do? Does it go back up and just. <laughs> that item is just sitting there. Okay. There's buttons on here that push these down. Let's see if we can grab this one in time. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. How are we going to do this? I think we're going to want to go to the other bonfire. Just because this sucks. <laughs> um, that was a... Uh, a little bit of a greed thing there. I didn't need to do that. Luckily just happened to get that. just happened to get that too. Oh, he got it. Okay. Hopefully, we don't lose all of our stuff. 
Okay. Oh, interesting. Um, let me try to get this. Okay, good. Okay, hopefully that will kill him. Oh, he gets stuck by a guy. Hopefully this does good damage to him. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? Alright. Okay. Die by flames. Good heavens. This guy's just gonna shoot at me though. Okay. Um, I might do the wilted herb here. Or the twilight herb, I'm fine with. Okay. Oh great, there's an item both here. Hold on. Oh my god. Okay, hopefully I can get both of these items. Okay, I like that. Um, oh, great. Ironclad gauntlet's good. Okay. Ooh, that was lucky. Um, okay, yeah. Let's go over here quick. Okay. Um, Gauntlets worn by ironclad soldiers provides high defense but are so heavy that they require great strength. The ironclad soldiers were minions created by the old Iron King, their life granted by an enchantment of souls. But now this is again an iron husk and fit to wear. Once the old king could have unraveled the greater mysteries with the aid of his great soul, but he was led astray by his enormous fortune, becoming nothing more than a vulgar hedonist. So this is kind of a cool, like, little story subplot here, you know, about the old Iron King and how, you know, Vendrick just happened to be one of those that, you know, was able to... Um, you know, unlock the potential of souls and such. Every time I do this, oops, oops, okay, don't lose your cool. Okay, so 
So I'm gonna go up and around, and I always die when I fall down. Um, but I'm also just taking these guys out to help me out here. So let's try it. Uh, by the way, there's stuff on these fire things, and you just have to have super high defense. You could probably get doused by water here to get better fire defense and get rings and pop all your items and then just run out and then still suicide so uh, even though there are unique items there uh, we will be uh, we will be skipping those for sure okay good oops I mean they're not all unique items too like so some are just like humanity or human human effigies. Okay, so here is where there was the mimic chest down there. So it makes me wonder if. By the way, you can see my footprints because I'm wet. I'm really scared to hit this one. Okay, didn't want it to break open like that one did. Okay, destructive great arrow. Um. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna. Oh, does he have the Santier Spear? Oops. Okay, be careful of this guy. I couldn't get away there. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if he climbs or not. Okay, so we have to we have to lower this. I don't know how many of these guys climb, but they probably all do. Love to see the ironclads climb that. Okay. Okay, so there, there's more. Come on. Okay. 
Okay. That's probably the mimic. Great X. Okay, I guess there is somewhat of a reason why those are here. I mean, there's no reason that they're here, but I guess I could be persuaded. Um, Alright, so same description. Alright. All right, let's try this. I always fall into the wrong thing. Cracked red eye orb. Don't know why those are here. Okay. And is there a guy on this platform? I hope not. Okay, can I select these at all? Okay, good. Alright, okay. Fire, okay. I think we'll be good. I mean, they're somewhat resistant to fire, but I guess we should headshot him. What was he attacking? Okay. So this is what I, I always die. Like, almost always. I don't think there's a great way to see where you're supposed to go. I almost always fall off. Ooh, I love that. Covetous gold serpent ring. Let's equip it, I guess, here. Because I'm probably going to want to use it. Well, let's at least read it. Gold ring depicting the snake, both the servant and manifestation of the god of desire, Zinder. Greed is traditionally viewed as a vice, but only a coward sees every chance as something to fear. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave this for now. Um, maybe after I re-spec, I will uh, feel more comfortable putting extra things on there. But it will be nice to get... You know what? I do want drops, so... It will definitely be, uh, I think, good. All right. All right. Well, let's try our best to get to the bonfire and not die. How oh, is this set up now? Okay. Fine. Okay. Don't. Okay, there's blood on this, which indicates, I think, that you can use it as a weapon, so let's try it. Come on. The key is to use it as a weapon and not get hit yourself. Nice. That worked out well.
well. Okay. Once again, there's an item here. And I think, based on what we have left, that we should just try to do... Someone invades here on New Game Plus. Never know what these guys. Alright, so. I'm gonna run back to Machula, I think, and try to level up. So, yeah, if you pull this, then. Um, turns off all those fires so we can get all those items. Which may be what I do after I beat the boss. But let's go to Machula quick. Um, I guess I can uh, level up, um, I don't know. Okay, just go up here and then there, it's good for me. I don't have any chunks, I don't think. So I think over here. Oh, I guess while we're here on these uh, episodes, um, he will now have smelter demons. You need armor. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. Okay. So yeah, now he has. Smelter Demon Helm. Helm of the Smelter Demon, a great mass of iron that was given life. The old Iron King was possessed by a great bounty of ore, but was incinerated by a creature that rose from the infernal depths of the earth. This is a little bit of a clue here. Um, like, like the Lost Center, uh, the thing that we fight is not the old Iron King. Despite the fact that in this case, you know, the, na the name of the boss is the Old Iron King. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. So, yeah. Are you sure? So, yeah, that's, that's the kind of text on that. I, I feel like I'm going to do, like, a New Game Plus cycle of this. I might not, uh, you know, film it all. I might just, you know, go through and get some stuff. But... You get different things when you play it on New Game Plus, so it definitely is worth, you know, going through for some of the lore that you get there. So, anyway, uh, yeah, and as you can notice, I don't know if I, if you, if I say anything or whatever, but you are in the uh, the bullhead that we saw earlier. So there's the uh, boss arena. And then over here we should see Magarold. Yeah, that little circular area is Magarold's there. And then that's this is where we fought the Smelter Demon, right in there. And then that's the area where the guy hits out one of the flooring. You have to jump across. And then that's the big area we just fought in. All right. I don't think there's any summons for for this boss, but lightning short bow again. That's just the short bow, but with lightning on it, so there's no more. Oops, <laughs> too late. Oops. Okay, just heal for just in case. Did I put on the gold? Okay. Um, yeah. Once again, that's Smelter Demons. 
Here's the the fist of the bull. And apparently down there from below is Harvest Valley. So yeah, this thing looks like it has its origins in dragons. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm not human. That's why I didn't see any summons. I don't know if there's any summons in this in New Game Plus. I don't think there was in the original. See if I remember this. Not sure why he holds his hand out like that. Oops. Heal. Go. Great soul. So we get the old Iron King soul. Which is confusing, especially how a new game plus works. You know, because I'll just say that you get a for each great soul you get a second soul each time you beat it, and so like um in, if you beat the Lost Sinner, you get the Lost Sinner Soul, and you get the Old Witch's Soul. Now, if you read this, again, I think this is just maybe a lack of planning or something, I don't know. Soul of the Old Iron King, who says, Come to the flames that swallowed this castle. The Iron King's flesh was charged, and his soul possessed by things that lurk below. Okay, it must be another item. But it, basically that thing that we fought was called Icarus Earth. Just the same way that um, the, the, we fought the Lost Sinner. However, the thing that possessed the Lost Sinner was the Old Witch. And the thing that possessed this was the Old Iron King. And yet you even get the Old King's soul, which is supposed to be Gwyn. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a little bit like needlessly confusing, I think. Um, Thing, but we'll get to that part when we uh, when we uh, um, Iron Keep Bonfire. When we get to the next section, we'll talk about that. So um, I'm going to uh, go into the DLC here, not to do anything with it, but just so I can grab the. Um, the bonfire make it easier in the future to get here um so basically what's cool about this uh dlc is that it's the iron keep oh i need to get the right that's right i have to actually get all of the uh 
um, keys and stuff rather than just buying it, buying the DLC and having it given to you. So I guess we'll come back and I'll talk about that then at that time. I'll skip it for now. Um, okay. Um, we'll go back to Anchula uh, in a second, but I just want to grab the other the uh, key in the beginning of the level so and I don't think Magarolds is anything different but we might as well talk to him I mean we'll talk to him when we come back so I guess that's not the big why is it because I left the area I guess I could use the homeward bone, but I mean, it's so close. Yeah, we're past an hour here at this point. Sorry. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run, grab this thing, and then off screen I'll go level up, go through my armor, get a whole new set going, and then we can uh, resume um, back in Majula. Oops, <laughs> I just went to Majula. Did the enemies disappear in Scholar of the First Sin? Like if you beat them 12 times or something, they disappear. <sighs> that one always comes out so fast. And we're never gonna get that Black Steel Katana, or whatever it's called. Oops, oh no. All I do is all I want to do is get this. I was trying to avoid everyone. The iron key. I gotta say, I'm not feeling any comfort more comfortable about parrying. I just happen to be getting it more, but maybe that means I am getting better at it. I don't know. Opens the door uh, of the iron, the iron door of the iron keep. The old iron king's castle sunk into a lake of fire way down by the castle's iron, and the burden of the king's conceit. Over the ages, the iron was stripped from the castle by opportunistic passers-by. The iron door, too, must be somewhere far away. So. It is in the Forest of Fallen Giants, which is interesting because we certainly should look at that door to see if there's anything cool on it. However, I don't think it has like an insignia on it or anything. All right, well, that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and um, we'll uh, pick up where we left off last time. Bye.